So, time to talk Donegal Atlantic Way Ultra 555, which is taking place uh, this year on Friday, the 2nd of July. And I'm glad to say we're going to go live now to Dubai to talk to race organizer Sean McFadden. Good to see you again, Sean. Hi, Austin. Good to see you, buddy. Uh, we had 21 degrees here in Donegal on Monday. What's it with you at the minute? Uh, 47, 48. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> Oh, it's it's tight going now. It's uh, this last say two weeks the temperatures just really ramped up like it was really good there, but we're still not bad. The humidity is not up or the humidity is normally high, you know. But it's kind of it's just nice dry sun at the minute. But it's, it's hot. It's very hot. It's hot. How do you cycle in forty seven degrees, Sean? Yeah, it's early morning and late nights, you know. So we start most mornings around four thirty five o'clock, and by the time the sun comes up, like the real strong sun. You've kind of got three hours done or four hours done, so you've got 100k in the bank and you've got the whole day then to do the sunbathing and try and do a bit of work. Right, okay. So is it hard to get that mix, is it? <laughs> uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm managing pretty well. <laughs> right. Anyway, let's talk 555. Before we look at this year, Sean, uh, the race got fantastic exposure last year, particularly during the winter months. Connor Dunn, of course, we knew he was here. We knew that he was filming with the GNC network and uh, the exposure you got off the back of that was phenomenal. And likewise, just last week, he's also going to mention the Giro d'Italia as well, so he's done. Yes, uh, Ashin, like last year was a special year for Connor coming with the GCN crowd, you know. Uh, like the video alone on the YouTube channel, the man, I think it's like 220,000 views. And to watch it, like, in, if you weren't from Donegal or if, you know, you didn't know the area and you were watching the video, you'd be thinking, wow, this place is just, and it was just beautiful. The scenery was just un incredible. The, the the TV coverage that they had got. And then to top it off there on the stage 17 of the Giro, I think it may have been the one Dan Martin won, they were actually talking about the 555, you know. So to get that uh, publicity on a, a, like a wee local race in Donegal, it's, it's huge for us as organisers, myself and Eugene, you know, it's, it's really, really good, you know. So um, unfortunately, Connor's not coming back this year, but... He reckons he will come back someday and, and, and finish on un, unsettled business. So yeah. Well, listen, it's it's phenomenal that the wee race in Donegal is getting so much exposure, Sean, as as we said. But this year, it was August last year. It's July this year. Again, it's under cycling Ireland COVID restrictions. So uh things are going to be very tight again for for the competitors and for you as race organizers. Yes, everything's going to be the same as last year, Jason, but we're gonna to have to be more uh strict this year, you know, on the start ramp. Um, we're going to have no no spectators at all. It's just going to be rider and crew. Um, if you want to support your rider or support your team, you're going to have to do it on the road and watch the tracker. Like there is 555 kilometers of road. You know, there's loads of really nice places that you can see your rider. Or if you want to go down to like a horn head or any of them icon uh, spots and meet them there and have a a chat with them there, you can do that. So we're just going to have to obey by the rules of Cycling Ireland and Sport Ireland that they've put out to us for us to run the event. We've been very lucky. Last year, we were very lucky with COVID. This year, we've been very lucky. There's been a lot of races cancelled. You know, we know there like a lot of the endurance races, the big ones like the Race Around Ireland and the Joe Bar and all them ones have been cancelled because it's just it's a bit harder for them because it's bigger. And they're bringing in international riders where ours is a small local community one and it's families and friends and businesses so we're very lucky again this year Oshin, to, to get the, the race to go ahead yeah what's different this year then sean you've made a couple of changes particularly to entries and you've added a few more categories tell us about it yeah well we've just we we, we always try to make it better and try and make it fun and so this year we've added a non-support non-supported category so that's going to be very exciting. So we've got five people signed up for that. So they're going to leave the ramp on their own, unsupported, and cycle 555 kilometers. Like, this is going to be challenging for them to do this because, you know, Donegal, around the Gidor area or Glengesh or around them areas, there's no shops open. There's nowhere to stop. There's nowhere to help you. So it's going to be very, very challenging for, challenging for them to carry all their stuff, you know, carry their water, their nutrition. They're going to get uh, uh, a halfway point, the same as everybody in Dunfanaghy. Uh, they're going to get a bag drop off there. So they're going to leave the bag with us at the Madarigal and we're going to drop it off at the, at the halfway point. So that's a new addition. Uh, we've entered, uh, we've uh, given another addition of a mountain bike category. 
So people challenged us last year that they wanted to ride it on the mountain bike. So we put it in. We've got two teams, so it's very good. So we've got like uh, a, a two two-man teams. So that is uh, another race on its own. So it's, it's at least then if somebody to challenge them, you know, I mean, they're racing against each other. Um, and I suppose this year, you know, it's, it's a special year because we've actually got a women's category, a very, very strong uh, four, five women category where for years, uh, for probably the last two or three years, actually, we had no women in the race at all. So we're blessed with that and we're looking forward to that. And then just back to the, the four man teams, the two man teams and the solos, you know, so it's exciting times and it's, uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff in there. Yeah, a lot of stuff in there. We're all waiting to see what's Ron McLaughlin going to do. He's the world Everstein record holder. Uh, you were back last year and he broke it, and he's broke it, I don't know, many times since then, Sean, since we last spoke. He's, he's had a couple of runs at it, and he's beat Alberto Contador. Yeah. And when I spoke to him at the yeah. time, he was mulling over the idea of doing the 5-5-5. He is the record holder. He smashed the record last year. Is he going to come back this year, yeah. Sean? Is he going to come back? That's the, the million dollar question. I can't answer that. We have left. We have left a couple of. We have left slots for the likes of Ronan and Mark McGinley and the top three men that was there last year. So Ronan, um, he has contacted me and said that he would love to come back to five five five, and it's in, it's in the back of his mind. He's very busy with his new job, cyclingtips.com. He's a lot of stuff going on, but listen, his slots there. If he can make it, good. If not. There's a, a real top class field there as well. We've got like 36 solo riders. So 36 solo. So uh, we have the current winner, uh, Roger Brown, that you interviewed yourself on the ramp that year. Roger's back. He done 21 hours and 40 minutes. We have Colin, Colin Richardson back. And we have the likes of uh, Connor Gallagher from Castle Bar that, is a quality young rider that has read for Ireland in his time and has ridden the roads of Donegal before in the Aerial Youth Tour. So he's no he's no dozer. Uh, you know the Jen Jennings family from Horton Heights. He's first cousins of the Jennings family, so he's made of good stuff. Yeah. Uh, not forgetting Tommy Hughes of Derry's coming. Tommy's got a couple of world records under his belt, so he has. And uh, it's, he wants to go that, five five five. That's, that's incredible. Tommy Hughes, as everybody knows him, like he's an amazing runner. He's just actually broke the 50K record in a time of three hours, six minutes and 28 seconds for over 60. Tommy's coming back with a brother of his to do a two-man team. So we're like, you know, every year we seem to get somebody special, you know, and, and to get Tommy as a world-class athlete as he is, to put him on a bike just shows you, you know, uh, you know, you can do everything in sport. You know, it's not just all about running. So Tommy's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna have a rattle at it. Yep. Yep. Uh, what's going to happen now? Um, between now, actually, which is the start of June until until the start of July, for you guys and organising this show. Well, we've closed entries. Uh, uh, like we had to close entries because, as I said, we've got like 34, 36 uh, solos, and we've got the four unsupported. We've got. Uh, 17 two-man teams and we've got 16 four-man teams so we have a lot of work to sort out um we have a lot of like prep uh we we, we you know we we're we're working hard with cycling ireland and, and primal tracking to get all the stuff across to them and uh fair fair play to eugene and, and the team and and donegal you know I'm, I'm not there but like at the minute like as we know everything's done on zoom and done on on, on phone and everything so we're work, working well with all, all our new sponsors um, we're working well I would like just to meet just if I could thank the sponsors like you know we couldn't do that this without them uh, there's like there's so many sponsors but the main ones this year is like the Mount Diego Hotel Terry McEnough that what we have there just couldn't be done without Terry that that spot because it's like bangs back in the middle of the 555 and it's, it's phenomenal um, we've got head rust this year. We've got Sean Doherty, uh, footy fruit, and we've got uh, LK bikes uh, for the car check. So, you know, without them, this race couldn't be possible. And I suppose cycling in Ireland. Yeah. Uh, have you changed the route at all this year, Sean, or is it, are you sticking to the same route as what you've done over the last, well, this is the sixth edition. There has been some sort of changes al along the way, but there's nothing major, I take it, is there? No, nothing major, Eugene, like, or Ashin, we, we might have to change things of, like, this time of year, people know there's a lot of roadworks going on, and 
uh, surfacing and, and, and new roads. And as we know, there's a couple of roads closed, but hopefully, like with Eugene and the council, and he knows the engineers, we've been closely talking with them, and hopefully, you know, there will be no road closure because we don't want it. We don't like changing the course because there's times on the course, the records is on the course. People know their own times, you know what I mean. So we wanna we wanna keep the course as close as we can um, to the normal course. So th- as as we sit, there's nothing changed at all, you know. Yeah, this is a really really serious challenge, as Connor Dunn from the from the GCN network f- found out last year. But of it all, Sean, and you've been over this route many a time, and obviously as as race organizer, you're the guys that lay out what is a really difficult route. What's the most testing part of this? circuit of the 555 do you think uh, the, the, it's, it's, it's all it's all tough you know but when you come back from uh, Memorial Gap and back to the Mount Aragal, you've got 206 kilometers in your legs and you're not even at the halfway point you know so and like riding through the night down around as we've seen with Connor Dunn down around Carrick Kilcar and around over over Memorial Gap you think when you get over Memorial not Memorial when you get over Glen Guess you think yeah. you've built the work done after that, it's still testing, it's challenging, it's up and it's down, and it's up and it's down, you know. So the whole thing is challenging. Like, I was chatting to a guy here in Dubai, he was telling me, oh, I know the toughest races in the world. I said, no, you haven't come to Donegal, son. You know, he was showing me a race this morning, actually, and I said, there was only like 3,500 metres of climbing on it. I said, we've got one in Donegal that's got over 6,000 metres of climbing. And, like, if you get a hard... Windy day in Donegal, you know, washing. It's yeah. it's it's a hard it's a hard one to do. You've seen Ron McGlahan, you've seen Roger Brown, you've seen all these boys at the finish line. They're in bits, mm. absolutely in bits. Yeah. What's the best conditions for a five five five? If you're going to be a competitor and you're going to head out at what is it eight o'clock? Is it on that Friday morning show? Ah, uh, well, uh, uh, I would say year? this year we'll, the, the oh. times is not out this year, but we'll probably put away. The uh, unsupported riders probably go first. Yeah. We'll probably put them around. Maybe I'm not sure yet. Like we haven't set the times up, but they'll be forced away early morning. And this year, I think we're going to have to spread them out more just to give that gap for Cycling Ireland and just for the rules and regulations that we have. Um, but um, best conditions, I suppose. Last year, Ron McLaughlin probably got it right. You know, uh, we had a tailwind the whole way down. The, the one the one turned around and then when Ronan needed the wind behind his back when he went over Glen Guess it turned again and it, it blew him all the way down now he still had a pedal of the bike his, his time last year was phenomenal I do I have it uh, was it like 17 hours and 16 minutes or something mm. it was incredible time you know but um, before we finish off in this uh, she, the solo women category this year um, is going to be probably the blue ribbon race for me, because we haven't seen a women's race before. We've had women in it, but we haven't had, you know, women that's going to really challenge the record. You know, there's a girl, there's two girls there, uh, Vanessa and Lorraine. And, Jocelyn um, and Lorraine yeah. Malarkey, is that it? Yeah. Marilarkey, she's from Monaghan originally. She currently holds the record here in Dubai for the Seven Emirates. Right. She's currently done a 400 kilometer ride there in the middle of the night, and she's ridden 400 kilometers in 12 hours. You know, so she's she's coming for an Irish record. She's she's coming to give it a really good rattle. Now, cycling in Dubai is different cycling than Donegal, but she's from Donegal. She's from Ireland. She know she knows the road. She comes home every year to cycle. But Vanessa herself, this young lady triathlete, is done a lot, a lot of climbing in France and all over the world, and she's raced at ATU level. So that's going to be a cracking race. And you've got Rushing, Rushing McDade, another woman that has done it on a four-man team before, a four-person team. She's coming. So this is like, this is exciting. I'm, I'm really excited about the women's uh, category this year. Okay. Uh, listen, we always get excited around the 555, so we do, Sean. We're a month out from it now. Uh, we wish you and your team, you and Eugene, the best of luck in your... Uh, organizing your continued organizing of the event because uh, it's coming on friday the 2nd of july it'll be here in no time and that uh, we can't wait for it sean so the best of luck thank you Austin, and thank you for the support uh, over the years no problem sean